pandas mean. So you have your data frame and you want to take the mean or the average of your data. You can do this right on your data frame or you can do it on a series. So let's check out what this looks like. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to import pandas as pd, but I'm also going to import numpy as mp because I'm going to use some random numbers here. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create my first data frame. Now this data frame is going to be a just have some random random numbers in it. And you can see here that I'm setting my uh, mp.random.seed and my seed to 42. This is so you can have the same random numbers as me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a data frame that is four rows by three columns of random numbers uh, with some column names and an index. So here I have four names as my index and three dates as my columns with some random numbers in the middle and say I want to take the mean of these. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to call df.mean. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to take the mean across or across the rows which means I want to take the mean of the columns. Now it gets a little bit confusing with pandas, so let's explain this real quick. If you want to take the mean of a column, meaning the mean of Monday, the mean of Tuesday, the mean of Wednesday, the way that I think about it is I want to cross over these rows. And so if I cross over the rows, that means that I need to set my index or my axis to index, which means my axis is the index and I'm going to cross over the rows. I'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see here, I get a series with the index as the column name with the average across that column or across the rows there. Now, if you wanted to take the average of the rows, meaning what is Bob's average versus Sally versus Frank, well, then you can do the same thing. But instead of calling access equals index, you're going to call access equals columns. I'll run this. And now you get the average across the across the columns but for the rows. So you get Bob's average, Sally and Frank and Claire. Uh, the last thing or the next to last thing that we will go over is what happens when you have NAs or not available values. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another data frame, but you can see here I've placed an MP.NAN, which is just a not available number. And that value appears in my data frame right here on row index label equals three under the average bill. So if we ran df mean on this, by default, pandas is going to skip over the NAs. So we do this and we do df mean. And you can see here I get my mean of my average bill since this is the only column with numbers in it. And I get the average no problem. However, there is a parameter that's called skip NA. And this is uh, set default uh, true. But if I set this default to false, then you can see here that because I have my NA in my average bill column, Pandas can't take the average of that, and so it returns to me an NA. You'll use this specifically if you want your program to throw an error if there's an NA value within the data you're trying to throw, you're trying to get the mean in. And last thing that we'll say is we've called them on we've called uh, dot mean on a data frame so far. You can also call this on a, uh, on a series. So I have my data frame from above with my average bill, and I will call dot mean on that, and we get our scalar returned, which is just a single number. Pretty easy, and that is pandas mean.